And as Helene gets closer to the Gulf Coast, it is getting stronger. Here's a live look of the Florida Panhandle right now. Thousands of people have had to evacuate, and most of the state is on high alert. This is a very large storm, so you're going to see tropical weather that's going to extend hundreds of miles away from the center of the storm. President Biden just okay disaster declarations for Florida, Georgia, and North Carolina. Uh, Helene has been upgraded to a major Category 3 storm, and Chief Meteorologist Emily Walls has been tracking it for us. Emily? Yeah, the latest update that just came out a few moments ago has maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. The wind gusts associated with Helene now up to 155 miles per hour, and this thing is cruising to the north-northeast at about 23 miles per hour. So we're going to have a landfall later on this evening. And you can notice here in the last couple of scans, do you see how well defined that eye is? So that is a sign of a very strong hurricane. Again, this is a category three, but it could potentially become a category four before making landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida. Then take a look as it moves to the north, as it's moving through Georgia, this is still going to be a category two. So it's going to take a while for it to lose some steam. And this is going to be the fourth landfall across the United States mainland that we've had this hurricane season and there's only been five other years on record that we've had four plus landfalls in a single season. So this is significant. This evening here at home temperatures are going to be in the mid 70s this hour and then we're dropping down to the mid 60s by about 9 p.m. Your weather headlines increasing clouds expected tomorrow and that's all associated with the remnants of Hurricane Helene then that's going to bring in some showers for the upcoming weekend. Those details coming up.